Well, it has been two years since I last painted Malachi, at least for the cab. I did the uh, cover last year. So it's time to put a little bit of a freshness onto this to keep it looking just as pristine as I possibly can. And again, I'm using that, that technique of, of darker, darkest colors first and then the lighter shades. This brings me to a really interesting part here. You see how the green kind of comes to a point. This is gonna be very difficult to do if you do the black, then the brown, then the green to be able to spray to a point like this. So this is gonna take a little bit of a special uh, deal here. Now I'm still gonna go black, then brown, then green. But then afterwards, I'm gonna have to just do a little touch up with the black and maybe just a little touch up with the brown um, in order to make this, this little point here look nice and sharp. You can see I did actually get pretty dang close to that. Um, but if you really want it to be tight, probably be just fine with this, but I'm gonna make it a little better. All right, that looks pretty good. Well, the painting is coming along really nice. I just, I just absolutely love going from this tired, worn look um, to a uh, really nice, fresh paint. I know that that's not for everybody. If everybody was the same, how boring of a world would that be? It's just what I like. And I like to have this vehicle parade ready so that it looks really nice and represents the gospel mission really well. But anyway, I've got this big dent right here. I mean, it is just creased in. It's always bothered me. I wonder if I can pop this out and maybe get something in there to pull that dent out a little bit better. I know it's maybe hard to see from the camera's perspective, but I've never liked this dent. And since I'm repainting, maybe it's time that I try to take it out. Now, after I've got it thumped out a little bit, this is actually raised out just a little bit more than what it needs to. Check this out. That fits almost perfectly on that curve. Another win for Harbor Freight. I'll just take my rusty hammers and tap it in a little bit. I wasn't going to do it, but I was so happy with how well that dent, you know, really came out. 
I just figured I had to finish it off, put a little Bondo on there. We'll see how this uh, cures up and sand off. Hopefully I did a good job. I haven't done this in years. So let's see. Well, it is coming along slowly, but I'm trying to get even these little pits out. And then right around here is, uh, of course, very difficult. I am way, way out of practice and I wasn't really a, a professional to begin with. So it is what it is, but I am fixing this dent. When I do this primer coat, it's really gonna reveal what kind of defects and things that I've missed. So this is a very important step. Well, if I have to say so myself, I am really, really pleased with it. I see a little bit of a high spot right here, a little bit of a line outline there, but everywhere else is looking really, really good. There might be a little imperfection right here too, but dang, compared to what it was, that big, huge dent, I am super happy about that. Well, yippee skippy. I, you know, I saw that uh, little rain cloud coming in, but I thought I had just a, a little bit more time. You know, I, I just knew when the trees started bending over with all that wind, it was coming and it was coming quick. Hopefully this ends pretty quick as I see some sun over yonder. Dang sun! That turned out really, really good. I am very happy about that. There has never been a time where I have owned this truck that the front of it has looked this good. Here's something I want to also point out. I got some new nose art. Really, really like that. Well, hey guys, I have got a lot of repainting to do, but this brings me to the point of a lot of discussion on stencil and stenciling of the LMTV. Because I'm repainting everything, all of the stencils also have to be repainted. But can you really find the stencil that you want? Maybe if you're a purist that you're gonna try to match the, the stencils that came with the original equipment? Well, I would look on defont.com. That's www.defont.com. There are hundreds and hundreds that you can choose from in there. Are you gonna find the one that is the exact same? 
I don't think so. But you're going to find something that's very, very close. And what is important is what you like. Not what anybody else likes, what you like. This is what I like. I like a font that's just called Stencil. It is uh, very neat. It's, um, it's uh, quite a bit different than the original, but people can read it. I can read it really well. It's, um, I think, a very classic one. Actual stencil name is called Stamp Stencil. Um, but I think that's that's what's going to be for me. That's what I like, and that's what I'm going to use. It is readily available, easy to find. But there are other ones that are very, very simple, too. I'm going to post those right up here. That's the first one. And it's not bad. It's pretty doggone close. Okay, that's the second one. Again, not bad. I like it. The third one. And this is what I'm using. And this is what it looks like. It's, it's not bad at all, really. You see, I have to redo that one. I can't overspray just a little bit. And of course, this is a little bit bigger variety of it, but this is that same font. And you know what? I, I really like it. it. It's different, but it is crisp. I like the, I like the, uh, the embellishments, that little hash mark. I really like that. It just depends on what you guys like. And here's another thing. I'm going to be adding stencils that didn't come with this truck. Why? Because that's what I like. On this gas tank, it's going to have jet fuel only. <laughs> Why? Because I like it. There's also other things that I'm going to be putting on there. So while I finish repainting Malachi and making it just as absolutely awesome as I possibly can, stencil it up how you like. Don't listen to anybody else. All right, guys, I'm going to be signing out. I've got a few other projects I need to work on this, and I need to get a trailer diagram for the air. If anybody has that, please let me know where it is because I really need to get that trailer plumbed for air back to the rear tires so that I can keep those inflated and also to work the brakes. I just can't find one. If you can help me out, I'd really appreciate it. Until then, I'm Dave Anderson, signing out. You guys be safe out there, and God bless. Hey, don't forget that I have some awesome t-shirt designs. I just reduced the prices temporarily so that you guys can uh, better afford those. I have six designs, so many different colors, t-shirt, long sleeve, two types of hoodies, women's shirts. They're pretty doggone cool. Check them out if you want to support the channel. I really do appreciate it. Link is in the description.